Hi, my name is Micah, and I've been involved with the BERT project since inception in 2004, and I hope you find this video informative. Hello, today we're going to demonstrate how to create a multi-select parameter that will filter a report accordingly. Uh, we have a simple listing report here that displays the customer sales by sales rep. So first let's take a look at what this report looks like. As I said, it's a very simple report. It's a three-page report that will list all the customers by sales rep and the sales for that customer. Let's first take a look at the data sets for this report. The first data set is the actual data set we're going to be using in the report. It selects the, the sales rep information and the customer information and then the sales information. It groups it by the sales rep and the customer. A fairly simple report, a simple query, nothing fancy here. We have an additional data set that we're actually going to use for our selector. It selects the employee information and displays the employee number, the last name, and the sales rep name. The sales rep name will be the concatenation of the last name, a comma, and the first name. There are actual two solutions to this. One is available only in the commercial actuary BERT, and the other one will work both in the commercial actuary BERT and in the Eclipse open source BERT. The first solution uses a commercial feature called dynamic filters. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new filter it's going to be dynamic. It's going to be based on the column employee number. And I am going to create a new dynamic filter. Let's give this filter a name. And let's enter a, a prompt. Since the employee number is an integer, it automatically knows that this is an integer. And what a dynamic filter does, it can create any kind of filter for you automatically. Since we're creating a multi-select parameter, really all we need is an in clause. So we're just going to use the in clause. And the selection list values will be dynamic. The value that we're going to be passing is the employee number. However, we want to display something different, in this case, the sales rep name. And that's all I have to do. And let's run this report again. And now I have my select sales rep, and I could select, let's just say, three sales reps. And if I run this report, it will filter the report dynamically based on the three sales reps that I've selected. Behind the scenes, what this is doing, it's passing an in clause to the parameter. So it's taking whatever I selected, and it's actually pushing that filter to the database. So it's not retrieving all the data in the report and then filtering in the report, it's actually pushing the in clause to the database. Like I said, this is a commercial only feature, so what do I do if I want to have the same functionality in open source BERT? So let's get the report back to the way it was. So we'll delete the dynamic parameter and we'll go to the data set and delete the filter. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the parameter. Let's give it a name again. And a select prompt. The sales rep is going to be an integer. We're going to use a list box. We're going to allow multiple values and this is going to be dynamic. Sales rep data set, the employee number as our value column, and again the sales rep name as the display column. And now if I run the report, I get my nice little selector here, but obviously since I haven't tied it to the report or anything, it's not going to filter my data. So let's go back to the report. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to my query an additional WHERE clause and 
e dot employee number which is in and I'm going to give an arbitrary value 999 so obviously if I preview this results in this case there is no employee number 999 it's not going to give me any data what we're going to do now is we're going to change the script for this data set and we're going to replace that 999 with the value of the parameter the important thing to note about BERT is that a multi-select parameter actually creates an array of values an array of values can't be passed to a SQL query so we need to do something to convert that array of values to a string in this case uh, for an in clause into a common delimited string so I already prepared a script for you and what this script is doing is it's actually replacing the query text and it's replacing the 999 with my list of parameters as I said a multi-select parameter creates an array in JavaScript their arrays have a function called join what join will do is it will actually create a string from the list of values that are in the array and what you pass to this function is the delimiter so in this case it's going to create a common delimited string since the in clause that I'm creating is based on an integer that's all I need to do however if this was a string the in clause that I would create in the SQL would say an employee number equal in open parentheses quote 999 quote close parentheses and then the delimiter would be quote comma quote and that will create the appropriate in clause for me if this was a string parameter but as we know this is an integer so we'll get rid of the quotes and let's save this report and we will run it one last time and then I'm going to select the three sales reps that I want to view this report for and I'm going to finish this report and again it filled the report and again obviously since I'm changing the SQL on the fly using script the, the filter is actually going to be done on the database I hope you found this information very informative and thank you very much